Hey everyone, welcome back to the next Smart Suite Showcase. If you're new here, my name is Nate. This series is all about giving you insights on how customers are using our platform based on the work our onboarding team has done this past week. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at how you can use Smart Suite to manage incoming project requests from your team. Ultimately, how you can set up new Smart Suite projects and processes in a strategic and orderly fashion. Let's dive right in. Before I get started, I want to point out where you can find the solution. If you go into your workspace homepage, click add a new solution and click start with the templates. All the showcases are going to be listed inside of this showcase category here, where you can download the exact template I'm talking about just by clicking this button here. So you've purchased SmartSpeed for your team and you're now using it to manage your business processes. A lot of people on your team are wanting to create new projects within SmartSuite, but how do you do this in an organized fashion? That's what we're going to talk about today. I'll start by talking about some of the goals of this build-up. First was to make sure there's a valid business reason for the application of SmartSuite. Two would be to check in with the company policies. Number three, make sure you manage the access of this SmartSuite project to the right levels. And then four, make sure you test out the solution to make sure everything is in order and you're good to go to release it to production. We'll start off in this internal custom request app here and things will start through a form. So this form can be sent out to any team member wanting to request a new project. You can share this form with them with this link right here. And I'll go ahead and fill out this information. If I fill out this form, you can include any attachments that would be helpful for the request directly here. You can go ahead and submit it. And moving back to SmartSuite, a record will be created with the information that was submitted. You can go ahead and open the record to see the information about this request. From here, you can look at the description, which business unit we're talking about, the project type, whether it's internal, customer facing, or if it's for a vendor or other type. Here we can use a field to track the estimated time spent to develop. We can pick a due date for it. We can also see who submitted the request here with the link to their contact information right now. Let's say you're looking over this project request and you think it could be a good idea, but you need some more information from the person that submitted this request. You can go into this smart doc field here and add information to this no section here saying, can you please clarify on these points? And you can go ahead and change the status to needs further information. This is going to fire an automation to send an email back to the person that submitted this request. So this email here, here's a quick look at the automation. If you want to go ahead and set it up and we're sending an email back to the submitter email, we're including the notes for the submitter here. So let's say you've got that new information and you realize that it's a valid business reason for adding this project and you pass the review and you want to approve this to start the project. When I change that status to approve, I have another automation to create the project for this. The project is created here with some fields of information from that customer request. And if we open up the record, we can see the general information at the top, the project info. So it's looking up some fields of information from that request and also pulling the description from the last field. And then we have a set of tasks here. Once you're ready to start the project, you can go ahead and start changing the status to in process and what's gonna happen in the tasks. Records can be created for the tasks that need to happen to implement this project. I've created three example tasks that be relevant for when you're trying to approve a project and implement it in SmartSuite. The first one could be making sure it meets your company policy compliance. The second, the actual build out. And then the third, the testing, but you can include as many tasks as you'd like. Inside of each record, we have a checklist that was created inside of our automations for this company policy compliance we have these checklist items. So as your team's working through these new tasks, you can check them off directly from here and then change the status of this overall task to complete. When we go back to projects, the percentage complete is going to look at the status of all those tasks linked to a project and count the ones that are complete over the total projects link. So here we have 33% complete for both the projects. So once you've checked, make sure your company policy is compliant um, with this build out, you're probably gonna wanna start creating the solution. Here you can have a templated set of tasks that need to happen when you're creating that project. For example, building the structure, making sure you have the right requirements, making sure you set up the right views, and then the permissioning. Permissioning can be controlled at a solution level where you can change the level of access that users in your workspace have. For example, you can change it so some team members only have access to, to records, projects, tasks that are assigned to them. You can also control this at an app level and then coming soon at a field level in case there's fields of information regarding that new project you're taking on that are sensitive and everyone inside your workspace doesn't need access to them. Now that you've finished the build out of this project request, you probably wanna move on to testing where you can have a set of items you need to go through and your team needs to go through to make sure everything is working properly. 
For example, you could test the automations that you've set up. Then if you want to make sure the access level of the permissions is working correctly for your team members, you can change the status to production ready, where you can notify everyone on your team that this solution is ready to be used. You can also use the solution guide as a place to document exactly how the project is being used. Now I just showed one specific use case, but you can have a completely different set of tasks depending on which type of project it is. For example, you might have a different set of requirements for a customer facing project rather than an internal project. And then for example, a different unit of your business, you may have different sets of tasks that need to happen. It needs to go through approval from different people on your team. This is just a good template to get you started. This solution is a good way to start taking on new smart speed project requests in a very organized fashion. So you can make sure you figure out who needs to see the information, why they need to see it, and then the content of the information before your team just starts creating solutions and projects with a little less structure and compliance. And that wraps up this Smart Suite Showcase. Hopefully you learned how you can manage new project requests from your team to make sure you set up projects in Smart Suite the right way. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I'll make sure to answer. And if you have any requests for a Smart Suite Showcase in the future, feel free to leave that in the comments as well. Thanks for listening to this episode and I'll see you next Monday.